Hey guys, I'm Yuji Marada. I am working as uh, engineering manager. My mission is building the best global engineering team. So please follow me on the Twitter or LinkedIn. Appreciate it if you can visit my blog if you have any interest. So today, I would like to talk about something related to the kind of engineering team structure. I recently kind of uh, read uh, uh, very interesting you know, books, uh, which is written by the, you know, Matthew Skelton. So actually he wrote uh, you know, two kind of you know, different book uh, related to the you know, engineering team kind of you know, uh, structures, I think. One book is the uh, team topology. And another kind of book name is the kind of you know, remote work interaction workbook. So both are pretty much interesting and it is actually kind of you know, uh, providing us a you know, team structure approach in uh, con leveraging the kind of engineering knowledge. So I recently kind of published a video that the kind of engineering kind of knowledge is going to be pretty much beneficial for the team management as well. So I think uh, this is uh, pretty much related to that topic. So let me kind of talk about it. So the you know first book related to the team you know kind of topology introduced a whole bunch of the kind of team topologies and its interactions. So what he mentioned is actually you know the typical engineering team can divide it into the you know four different kind of you know, uh, type of the topology. Uh, one is a stream aligned team, and the, uh, enabling team, platform team, and a complicated subsystem team. So. You know, two out of this kind of you know, um, topologies, especially for the streaming alignment team and the platform team, exactly kind of corresponding to the kind of you know, digital product and the digital platform, where the kind of you know, digital kind of you know, uh, product gonna be uh, be the kind of you know, complete you know uh, product to value the feature to the users, uh, and you know, streamline aligned you know, team is you know, responsible for that. In contrast platform team is providing uh, some kind of you know, uh, common platform capabilities to the multiple team in the same way which is exact same you know kind of you know uh, uh, concept for the digital product something like you know providing a you know, platform uh, providing that some kind of you know, api to leverage other digital products and uh, you know uh, Team topology book also kind of introduced the concept of the how the team interactions. I think, uh, you know, that he uh, kind of mentioned about the interaction as the collaborations or X as a service, uh, which is exact same kind of you know, uh, similar kind of you know, uh, uh, concept for the kind of digital product. So, for example, like for the collaboration, that is a typical kind of you know, uh, collaboration between the two uh, team. Uh, two teams working together and you know depending on each other while x as a service is you know uh, kind of you know, the platform team is providing uh, some interface and the, all the services uh, gets provided through some uh, kind of you know, uh, self-service kind of interfaces so that the client team does not uh, depend on the progress on the platform team so that kind of thing so it is quite interesting uh, to see the kind of you know, team building in the context of the digital product development. So that is quite you know, useful. The second book, uh, the remote uh, work interaction workbook is kind of you know, related to how the kind of you know, make the communications or in kind of you know, collaboration efficient uh, in the context of the remote uh, kind of work. Uh, one of the interesting kind of uh, concept is, um, you know, introduced in this uh, book was, you know, uh, defining the API of the team. So just like, you know, uh, we define the API for some digital product, we're going to define some kind of, you know, unified protocol to interact with the team. So defining the, some kind of team missions, uh, team objectives, priorities, uh, communication methodologies like a Slack or email or phone numbers, everything, and uh, dependency to the other team, so that you know we can kind of take a look at those kind of team API uh, to understand how we can interact with that kind of a team. So making uh, use of these kind of concept gonna be kind of allow us to easy to kind of interact with other team in a context with the kind of remote working style. Uh, so uh, we, where the, you know it's easy, uh, it's much harder to kind of uh, talk to uh, in person 
uh, unlike the co-located you know, office work. Uh, I think you know what I found was actually the you know this kind of remote work uh, interaction workbook is not only kind of useful just for the remote work, but that is kind of really useful for the work distributed across the world. So you know here the kind of we are living in the age of the borderless. So we are kind of you know, uh, working together with the you know whole bunch of the you know team distributed in the kind of uh, you know uh, other countries uh, in the south of the big companies I think, and uh, you know actually they you are know, making the kind of remote work ready protocol uh, working style uh, gonna be the pretty much kind of you know, um, beneficial to make your work style borderless so that you can drive much bigger business. So I think uh, that's gonna be the quite you know interesting crew uh, giving us uh, through those kind of you know, knowledges. So that's gonna be the you know all of the talk I would like to talk today. Uh, so I'm gonna be putting the kind of you know link for those you know two different uh, two books in the description session. So if you get any interest, uh, I would uh, you know definitely recommend you to look into this uh, you know box. Uh, that's gonna be the definitely kind of insightful for us. Uh, that's all for today. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And see you soon. Bye.